Tired of that tip jar? Or just trying to figure out the right amount after your restaurant meal? Here's a lesson for grocerants. One of the reasons shoppers hate the checkout lane in the supermarket is that after picking the best produce, talking to the butcher or seafood monger, and selecting just the right foods for dinner, and then passing by that scrumptious bakery, we have to stand in line and pay. We look at groceries, then the screen that shows out our total, and gulp. Not a great experience at all. And the same thing happens when we go to a coffee shop or a restaurant. We get the bill after a fabulous meal, and then our anxiety builds as we try to figure out just what that right amount is to tip our server. In a tense few minutes, we evaluate our entire experience, and then our math brain kicks in, and we still wonder if it was the right amount. And then the reality kicks in. Most people don't even think about the fact that their tip is divided among a bunch of people and doesn't only go to that waiter that you had a personal and hopefully pleasant experience with, or that it's a way for the restaurant to pay a small wage. Currently, $2.13 an hour in 43 states out of their pocket and hope that the diners pick up enough of the difference to give their staff a livable wage. Danny Meyer announced in 2015 that he would eliminate tipping at many of his Union Square Group restaurants and up the hourly wage. Forty percent of his longtime front of house staff quit. Menu prices were raised and a lawsuit against Meyer and the other restaurateurs alleges that after the switch to a gratuity-free model, money was not fairly distributed between the restaurants and front of house staff. Restaurants throughout Europe have always automatically included the tip as part of the bill. The Trump administration has proposed legalizing tip pools again, which would effectively transfer the ownership of tips from the servers to the employers, who could then distribute the money as they see fit, or just pocketing the tips for the restaurant. An eater analysis of the U.S. Census and Bureau of Labor Statistics data showed that white servers and bartenders across all restaurant types make more in tips than most other racial groups. Between 2010 and 2016, the median estimated hourly tip for white servers and bartenders was $7.06. Latinx, who include people who identify as either black, white, Asian, or multiracial, earned $6.08 an hour in tips. Black front-of-house workers made a median hourly tip of $5.57, and Asians earned a median of $4.77. Just one of the reasons for the call for a $15 hour minimum wage. Now here's an idea for grocerants. Why not make your environment tip-free and increase the hourly wage? Your customers will be happy, your workers will be happier, and you'll attract the best in food service to work in your grocerant.